We are the area's largest, most trusted local source for news. Download the Blade app today. Grogan'stown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, where everyday moments make the best memories. It's Ram season, and Grogan'stown is offering great deals on the 2023 Ram 1500. Stop in today and reserve the vehicle you want with hundreds to choose from. Grogan'stown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram or Grogan'stown.com. Nobody treats you better. happening in the 419. Today we are at Gathered Glass Blowing Studio in downtown Toledo and joining me today is co-owner Adam Goldberg. Adam, what's up? How's it going Faith? How is it going? I'm doing pretty well. How are you doing today? Great, thanks for coming. Of course, and for people at home who don't know what Gathered is, tell me what, what do you guys do? What's going on? Absolutely. Uh, here at Gathered, we blow glass. We have a, a working hot shop where we're doing production work that we're shipping all over the country. We have a showroom that uh, people can come in and buy any products that they see on, on the shelves. We teach glass blowing classes and we do a lot of custom work for different offices and residential units in the area. That is so cool. And um, the art of uh, blowing glass, I remember we talked earlier, you are saying it's a little different. Talk to me about that. Yeah. The really cool thing about glass is that uh, it requires a team to make every piece. So uh, I've got a team of four people in the next room, and every time we make anything out of glass, everybody touches that piece of glass. Well, you don't really touch it because you have to use tools. It's very hot. It's a very hot uh, material. You can't actually touch it. But everybody has a, a role to play when we're making any of our objects, any of the things. It's really cool. And today we're going to get to make something, right? What are we making today? Today we're working on a, a production order. We're making these bowls that we call wind bowls. Um, we'll show you one that, that, uh, that, that we're going to make today. And um, we have them in our studio too. So if, you ever, if anybody ever wants to come and check them out, they can come find them here. All right. But first, before we get to that, we're checking out the three grand prize project prom winners who earned $1,000 toward their after prom for their stance on staying drug and alcohol free. We're here to surprise Ottawa Hills High School as a Project Prom Grand Prize winner thanks to the Mental Health Board of Lucas County. Do you remember me, Faith Atkins from BCSN and BCAN? I'm here because you are a Grand Prize winner for Project Prom. Congratulations! Hi, I'm Ryan Puyon. I'm a junior at Ottawa Hills High School. It feels great to be a Grand Prize winner for Project Prom. Uh, to get the funding necessary, you know, to make sure our prom is great and get the message out means a lot. It is a tradition at Auto Hills, obviously, to uh, keep it under wraps until the day before. But what I can say is that we're going to use the money to enhance everyone's night and make sure that it's a safe and fun night for everyone. So our community, Auto Hills, has been affected by, you know, the issue of drunk driving on prom night or, you know, in general, um, by teenage drivers in the past. And we want to ensure that everyone stays safe and on prom night because driving drunk or impaired by alcohol usage or drug usage is dangerous, not only to you, but also to the other people on the road. So it's important to make sure that everyone's safe. This is my first year of prom because I'm a junior, obviously, and I'm planning it too, which is really fun. So I hope that we can give a fun night, and I hope that I have fun too, and a safe night for everyone, obviously, too. Thank you to the Mental Health Board of Lucas County for funding Project Prom. Thank you. We're about to surprise Woodward High School as a grand prize Project Prom winner thanks to Unison Health and the Mental Health Board of Lucas County. Hey, Woodward. I'm Faith Atkins from BCSN and BCAN, and I'm here because Woodward High School is a Project Prom Grand Prize winner, meaning you guys just won $1,000 for your prom.
My name is Josiah Jackson and I am Project Prom Grand Prize winner. It feels really good to win Project Prom, one, because it was unexpected, and I do really appreciate the gift that I got today. My hope for the $1,000 for Prom is, you know, one, to make sure that you know, everybody's, everybody's being heard and what they want at Prom and like things like that. And I really hope that they make sure that um, there's a wide variety of foods for everyone because you know not everyone eats the same thing and that's a big problem here. So I really do hope to see a photo booth or um, the 360 machine. It's important to stay drug and alcohol free because you wouldn't want to make any mistakes that you wouldn't remember and you keep everyone around you safe as well. I'm looking to have a great time with all of my friends from my school. I'm excited to see how everyone's gonna look, how everyone's, you know, is gonna come. And I'm just, I just want everybody to have a great time. And I would also like to give a special thanks to the Mental Health Board of Lucas County for this amazing opportunity. We're about to surprise Mommy High School as our final grand prize project prom winner thanks to Unison Health and the Mental Health Board of Lucas County. I'm Faith Atkins from BCSN and BCAN, and I'm wondering, where is Lily Tuttle? Is she in the room? Hi, Lily. I'm here because your project prom entry won Mommy High School $1,000 for the after prom. Congratulations! I'm Lily Tuttle, a senior at Mommy High School, and we just won project prom. It feels really great to win Project Prom because I was really happy with the answer that I gave and so I'm happy that it got the response that it did. I know personally a lot of teens who have turned to drug and alcohol like for a way to have fun and I think especially on prom night it would be, it's going to be such a late night. It's going to be important to stay safe as much as you can. It's important to stay drug and alcohol free because I have seen a lot of the impacts of like people who haven't stayed drug and alcohol free. My mom works in the hospital and so I've seen a lot of people who have been seriously hurt by drugs and alcohol and it could have been avoided. I, and I just wouldn't want that for anyone at prom or any of my friends. Well our school goes to Kalahari for after prom and so we've done a lot of fundraising but I know that there was still a lot of fundraising left to do so I'm excited that that could actually be put to, towards our prom. On prom night, I'm looking forward to just having a good time with my friends. Um, we don't have many opportunities just to have da dance and have fun anymore, so I think that, that would be a really good time. And finally, I'd like to thank the Mental Health Board of Lucas County for making Project Prom possible. Get back, Adam is walking us through the art of glass blowing. Toledo's only professional basketball team, the Glass City Wranglers, hit the hardwood this season and BCSN is there. See up-and-coming stars compete on their home court at Owens Community College. Catch all the dunks, layups, and threes. Brought to you by Buckeye Broadband, your exclusive home of the Glass City Wranglers. Don't miss the Glass City Wranglers live on BCSN and the BCSN Now app. It's Ram season at Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and we have you covered. We know life is full of adventures, daily tasks, good friends, and family activities. We also know nothing beats having the perfect vehicle to fit your lifestyle, your personality, and your budget. Let Charlie's help you find your next new Ram truck. Charlie's Dodge, doing it different. They're record setters, role models, and real people. All have made an impact in the world of sports. Let's go beyond the game with the athletes and coaches from in and around Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. It's the stories, details, and information you don't get from a regular interview. It's in depth on Inside Out with me, Justin Feldkamp. Season two is here with episodes airing Sundays at eight on Buckeye Broadband's BCSN and the BCSN Now app.
There's a neighborhood that is no longer there. The name of the neighborhood was mm -hmm. Ironville. It became its own little town. What happened and why? The Port Authority, they said, we're going to need this area called Ironville. They demolished the homes and opened it up to expand the Toledo Overseas Terminal. Sadly, it never happened. Untold Hidden Stories of Northwest Ohio presents Ironville Rise and Demise, Sunday, May 7th at 7 p.m., only on Beacon. Appliance Service is a family-owned and operated business that has been servicing major appliances since 1984. Over the years, our customers have been asking us to offer a protection plan so they don't have to worry about costly appliance repairs. Well, the Ace Appliance Protection Plan is finally here. As an introductory offer, we have priced it at 50% off. Now your appliances can be protected for as low as $3.99 per month or $0.13 cents a day. Hey, Ace! We need it fixed right away! Welcome back to What's Happening in Toledo. I'm Faith Atkins here at Gathered Glassblowing Studio. Adam, got a lot going on behind me. What's going on? You're the boss. Tell me, what we, are we doing? We are making glass bowls right now. These are uh, called the wind bowls. Um, they have a few different colors on them. And uh, I'm working with my team here. We got Jake and KP. Go ahead and blow KP. We use different tools to uh, shape the glass. So that's what we're doing. A little harder, KP. Okay, I never knew that. Stop. That's really. I didn't know that's how that happened. Yeah, you actually blow. That's yeah, why it's you actually glass blow. Isn't that <laughs> wild? And also, we're dealing with temperatures that are uh, almost 2,000 degrees. Go ahead and get a little more heat on that, Jake. Um, and when it's out here in room temperature, it cools down so rapidly while I'm touching it with all these different tools that we often have to go back up there, reheat the glass inside that furnace. And then when it's all, it's got enough heat in it, you can bring it back and work on it some more. Okay, wow. Let's do that. So this really is, a, like, you weren't kidding me. You said earlier this is a team effort. That's right. And that, you're on the here. team. You're on the team I'm right now. I'm on the now. team now. So I want you to face the back of the room. No, face the back? Here. Okay. Yeah, and you're going to uh, put that tool right, right uh, here. Oh. And you're basically right now oh. shielding the heat it's from my hand. You. You're, oh, you're protecting sorry. me. Thank you for your, the protection. You're welcome. I try. Blow a little bit, KP. You can take it away now, Faith. Okay. Awesome. You did an incredible job. Thank you. I didn't know what I was doing. I know. I'm a Sometimes natural. Sometimes you just got to pretend like you know what you're doing. A little harder, KP. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm shaping this stop into a bowl and finishing what the bottom will look like. And shortly thereafter, blow a little bit more, KP, lightly. We're going to stick another rod on the bottom so we can open up the top. Stop, KP. That is so cool. All right, cool. Jake, you can make a punty. Now, Adam, I feel like a bowl is a little bit simple. What is like one of it, the most hardest, you know, items you've had to make? It does seem simple, but really bowls are one of the harder things to make in glass. Oh, why is I, that? I think everything is hard. Okay. Okay, everything's <laughs> really hard. But um, I would say the hardest thing is to make multiples that look the same. Okay. So when you're a production glass blower like, like uh, we are here at Gathered, we're um, trying to make things that all look the same and that are all great. Blow a little bit, KP, to make sets of things for our customers. So we're basically like a factory, but we're making things by hand. Stop. And I think that's a really difficult thing to do. That is. It's difficult, but it's quality and it's, it's unique. It's one of a kind. Exactly. So in just one second, Jake is going to come back and stick a rod right here on the center here. And we're going to break it off of this end where there's a hole so that we can then open it up. Come on over, Jake. Pressure's on, Adam. A little bit of water. It breaks right off. Thanks, KP. So now, as you can see, the bowl has an opening on the top so we can then open it up. That is so cool. Now, this is kind of, that doesn't have to do with the bowl, but man, I'm like sweating bullets right now. Yeah, man. How do you guys do this all year long? I bet in the winter it's, it's fun, but summertime. It's perfect in the winter. In the summertime, lots of Gatorade. Gatorade's the trick. And um, lots of breaks, lots of short, lots of, lots of breaks. Um, yeah. 
But yeah, it does get hot in here. Sometimes in the summer, in like July and August, it's up to like 115 in this room. Super duper hot. Um, and we're just trying to deal with that heat. You yeah. Know what I mean? Oh, here you come. You know what I mean? All right, Faith, come on over here. Okay. Jake, will you show Faith what to do with that paddle? We're gonna use this. Okay. You're gonna take your hand just like this, and bring it right up to the glass, and you're just kind of lightly pushing, just like that, right on the lip there, right when Adam tells you. Okay? So what you're doing there, take it away, Faith. Okay. Awesome. We're gonna get one more heat on this. Jake, will you mind taking the heat? What you're doing there is you're making sure that the opening of it is nice and symmetrical. Right. You want it to be a nice symmetrical shape. We don't want any floppy bowls here. How, right. That's what you're bringing to the table. You're making now, it nice and easy. Did you make this position just for me, or is there someone no, who actually does this? That is a this? position. That oh. is, you are assuming the position. Nice. Yes, it's a real job. There's no small jobs in this in this studio. Everybody's important. So now, like Mike's already starting the next one. Okay. When we're doing production, we're trying to fill orders for different stores or retailers, or even for a regular old consumer. Go ahead, one more time, Faith. There you go. You're doing it. Ooh, I'm a pro. Oh my gosh, it's, it's You're crushing flames. it. Just go ahead. You're crushing it. Yep. So, <laughs> I was about to freak out, but I didn't. It's getting a little hotter this time. So, Faith, you crushed it right there. So what I'm trying to say is, Mike's already starting the next piece. We're always, this is like a production factory, so we're trying to fill orders. This one right here, we're just trying to build inventory for um, some of the retail shows we're doing over the summer. We're gonna do the Crosby Art Show. We're gonna do the Ann Arbor Art Fair. Um, so you'll be, you'll be able to come find our, our booth there and buy any of our products there. Okay, and so also too, so I'm, I'm new to this, right? Yeah. You guys offer classes. Yes. How do you guys do that and sure. not burn anybody? Absolutely, so. Need me again? Yeah, sure. And this is your first time, right? Yep. And you haven't burned yourself yet, right? Right. So it's just like that. We kind of walk you through it, make you feel comfortable, make sure that nobody, um, everybody is safe. Um, and that's how that works. So, so the classes that we do, it's kind of like a team effort, just like our production. Yeah. So we're helping that person make the product. They're not doing it all by themselves. Just like this, you're kind of walking Ooh. you through it. And that's it, that's our bowl. Well, awesome, perfect timing, yeah. because we're about to switch gears real quick and head down the street to Fifth Third Field where Tim McMahon, our food man, is checking out Pogo Piatti attached to Hensville. I'm walking the concourse at Fifth Third Field with Chef Rob Campbell. The reason we're at Fifth Third is because he runs Poco Piatti hooked right onto Fifth Third. What's it like to be attached to this, you know, iconic place here in downtown Toledo? It's great, you know, we have access to the field, so, you know, that, that uh, energy on game day is so much fun, and people are partying with Dora. We've got the patio out front, and people milling around and having fun, and, you know, we have access to the park so people can come in and have a little snack or a cocktail and head back out to the game. It's a, a great experience. Will this be your first season down here or second? No, we started last year quietly in June. Okay. Um, so first so, full season. Right, first full season. Um, so we're looking forward to, uh, you know, a lot busier environment because uh, more people know we're here. And, Absolutely. Yeah. And you get some of the kinks worked out too, I imagine. You get things down pat. Yeah, and, that's one good thing with kind of keeping it quiet at first. You can really settle in and and uh, and get your feet under you. What's it like to be a part of uh, downtown Toledo? You've been a chef for many years in Toledo, but to, we mentioned obviously hooked on to Fifth Third Field, but to be a chef down here and kind of feel all the um, energy that's here in the warehouse district downtown Toledo. What's that like for you? It's great. It's great to be downtown and you know everything that's going on down here and, and to be part of that. And I mean, on another level, I mean, it's great to be part of the Hajar family. You know, Elias mm -hmm. um, is established in the community and his extended family with the Beirut and Biblos, and it's just, it's it's a lot of fun to be part of that uh, kind of stuff. You know, to the tradition of Toledo. I mean, Beirut and the family is just amazing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, and the name, it's so familiar, Poco Piatti, Beirut, everything. So what are you hoping to bring to um, Poco Piatti or what have you already brought uh, that you want to continue here in this newer location? Well, I mean, it's the same menu here as it is in Perrysburg and Central. So, um, I mean, we're just going to continue doing what we do 
Um, you know, we have the great classic Lebanese food, and then we've got all the nice small plates with a little twist on them from all different types of Mediterranean cuisine. All right, let's hop in the kitchen, make some food. One of the things I really like about Poco is like the shareable aspect. Is that, that something that you guys right, really Right, yeah, on? I mean, that's basically the whole menu. We got uh, some good, the classic things that have, uh, you know, that we have at all the restaurants. What are we putting on top here, Rob? Uh, a little paprika and uh, chopped fresh parsley. These are our lamb sliders, so we grind this meat fresh. Lamb, a little bit of beef in there, and then it's topped with a caramelized onion cream cheese and then uh, they're served on a brioche bun with a little arugula. Why do you think it is people like lamb so much, especially in the slider form? It just has so much more flavor than beef, you know? There's a couple secret ingredients in there too we're not gonna tell you about. Lamb is one of my favorite meats. You did so good doing your job, leading the way. I'm going to let you toss us the break. Sure. We're about to take one final break, but when we come back, we're taking a look at the artistic talent of students at Stark High School. From breaking news to business news, from your health to your happiness, you can count on The Blade to deliver to you comprehensive stories behind the issues and the personalities that shape our community. We know local matters to you. We are the area's largest, most trusted local source for news. Download The Blade app today. Grogan'stown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, where everyday moments make the best memories. It's Jeep season, and Grogan'stown is ready to help you find your next new Jeep. Stop in today and reserve the vehicle you want with hundreds to choose from. Grogan'stown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram or Grogan'stown.com. Nobody treats you better. They're record setters, role models, and real people. All have made an impact in the world of sports. Let's go beyond the game with the athletes and coaches from in and around Northwest Ohio and Southeast Michigan. It's the stories, details, and information you don't get from a regular interview. It's in depth on Inside Out with me, Justin Feldkamp. Season two is here with episodes airing Sundays at eight on Buckeye Broadband's BCSN and the BCSN Now app. It's Jeep season at Charlie's Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram, and we have you covered. We know life is full of adventures, daily tasks, good friends, and family activities. We also know nothing beats having the perfect vehicle to fit your lifestyle, your personality, and your budget. Let Charlie's help you find your next new Jeep. Charlie's Dodge, doing it different. I'm Matt Janowicki, the owner of Ace Appliance, to tell you about the new Ace Appliance Protection Plan. Stop waiting for your appliance to be repaired due to back-ordered parts. With the Ace Appliance Protection Plan, you get priority same-day appliance repairs. Ace comes to your home stocked with 95% of all common parts. If we need to order parts, we can check over 96 parts vendors with just one click, giving you the fastest delivery and the lowest prices. Hey, Ace! We need it fixed right away! I'm Jenny Beck, Start High School art teacher, and we're here uh, showcasing artwork from several elementary schools in the Start feeder pattern. Around me are showcased local elementary schools that all feed into the Heart Start High School feeder pattern. Um, I work at Whittier Elementary School, our work is behind us, and this is a great way to get the community involved in art and getting the community involved in the schools and showcasing our students and their abilities. 
Um, it's a very positive thing for community engagement, for the students to be so proud of the work that they've done, um, to come out and show it to their family and their loved ones, and for the community to come out as, as well and see what we're doing with the kids in the school. Here at Start High School, we teach everything from our intro to art, as well as uh, design classes, ceramics, painting, drawing, sculpture, 3D design, and so many more fun things to learn about. This show is really special because it gives the students an opportunity um, to showcase their work in a positive way and to really let the students shine and let them be proud of their achievements. I'm a TPS student myself, TPS proud. I went to Old Orchard, DeVoe, and Start, so it's really fun to be back here at Start and seeing teachers that I worked with when I was in school and showcasing my art alongside theirs, my students alongside theirs, so it's really kind of a fun full circle thing for us. This is um, a celebration of all the schools and elementaries that will eventually go to Start High School, and we are trying to represent our school let kids know that um, the little kids know all the awesome things that they can do as they get older and then eventually come to start high school and all the things that are offered here so with ceramics um, the digital arts all those fun things that they get to do so and I've, I've worked for TPS a little bit over 10 years now and it's been an amazing thing so we have over 41 elementaries and we all get to meet together monthly where we get to share ide ideas and just keep supporting our kids and their creativity so much for coming out tonight and supporting us here. Thanks again. Shout out to the Start Spartans. Well, Adam, okay, so we have a final product, sort of, TV Magic here. How long does it actually take for those bowls that we made to cool down and be ready to be sold? For sure. Once uh, we're done making the glass here, we put it inside our kiln, which holds at around 900 degrees and at the end of the day we turn that kiln down and it slowly incrementally will make its way down over 20 hours to room temperature. Okay. All right so Adam thank you so much for having us here. We got a bunch of we got Mother's Day coming up, Father's Day. All the days. All the days are coming up. Yeah. How can people get in contact with you and also what um, pieces you make? Any type of pieces? If I want to make a gift of my my dad. I saw you guys have like a little muddy. Yeah totally. Yeah. So um, Definitely if you want something customized, uh, order early. Get in here early, give us several weeks to get something done. Um, you can find us at our studio, 23 North Huron Street. Our website, gatheredglasstoledo.com. Uh, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all those things. Um, yeah, get in touch. We're happy to talk to anybody about a custom thing or something that's already made in our, in our gallery over there and while you're at our gallery. Um, on Saturdays, while we're open, uh, Kombucha Buchi Mama is now open here. She's got a tasting room. You can buy, um, do a tasting flight of different kombuchas or buy a pint, whatever you want. Um, and our regular hours are Wednesday through Saturday, noon to four. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Adam, again, thank you so much for having us. Thanks, man. And babe. that's it for this episode of What's Happening in Toledo. Make sure you come down to downtown Toledo, check out Gallery, grab some Buchi Mamas while you're shopping, and we'll see you next time. From breaking news to business news, from your health to your happiness, you can count on The Blade to deliver to you comprehensive stories behind the issues and the personalities that shape our community. We know local matters to you. We are the area's largest, most trusted local source for news. Download The Blade app today. Grogan'stown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, where everyday moments make the best memories. It's Ram season, and Grogan'stown is offering great deals on the 2023 Ram 1500. 
Stop in today and reserve the vehicle you want with hundreds to choose from. Grogenstown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram or Grogenstown.com. Nobody treats you better. Take a look under your bed. Find stuff under there? What about jobs? No? Now try your closet. Still no jobs? Just more stuff? Well, you really have both. See, stuff is defined as household articles considered as a group. Sometimes this stuff is no longer needed. Wait, no longer needed? I can't be right. Because remember those jobs you were looking for? Those are really needed. And they're the stuff inside your stuff. Our job is to unlock those jobs. And it starts when you donate your stuff to your local Goodwill. Here's how we do it. When you donate to Goodwill, we sell your stuff to provide job training for people right here in your community. So just by teaming up with Goodwill, you help create jobs. And isn't that worth parting with the leftover guitar from your 80s cover band? Goodwill. Donate stuff, create jobs. Hi, I'm Charles Welch. I was born and raised in Northwest Ohio. For nearly 